Hi, this is David, and thanks for checking out my video. Uh, with this video, what I wanted to show you is a softening technique we use in our studio all the time, uh, where it allows you to soften without doing any damage to the original image, and it also allows you complete control so you can soften areas of the image so you don't necessarily have to soften the whole thing. So what we're going to do is start with uh, taking the layer and copying the layer, and we have two options as far as doing that. The first option is to grab the layer, drag it down, and just create a new layer. Or the next option is a Command J, uh, which is typically what I do as a shortcut. Just uh, hit Command J, and that will duplicate the layer that's highlighted. And we'll start with that. So what we're going to want to do is go up to the Filters menu, go to Blur, and in Gaussian Blur. And then with this, what we want to do is take this blur way too far. Um, I always like taking things to the extreme so you can sort of go back and forth and see what it's done. So generally what I'll do is really just, just soften the crap out of this. Uh, basically where we can still see detail, um, not any good detail, but just some detail. And we're going to click OK. And then from here what we can do, what we want to do is I like to see eyes sharp. I like to see eye sharp and lip sharp and eyebrow sharp. So what we're going to do is basically come in here and we're going to create a mask on this layer that we just copied that has the blur on it. So we're going to come down to this little square at the bottom with a circle which is a mask and we're going to just click on that and that creates a mask for this layer. And what we want to do is basically take this layer and color out the areas that we want sharp. So to do that we're going to paint on the mask in black so that it hides the effect. So we want to come up to the paint brush, click on that, get a brush that works a little better, and I'm going to do 100% opacity, and we're just going to paint in those areas that we want to have sharp again. So we're bringing those areas back. Definitely like the eye sharp. And generally I use a sharp brush, or I'm sorry, a soft brush with this. And that's kind of how I start it. And then what I will do is go in and change the opacity back a little bit. I drop about down to half opacity to actually uh, draw in some of the hair. So we basically want to just color in some of the highlights on the hair. And I just kind of hit different areas through here. And then what we can do is we can basically take this opacity and roll this back now. And it, it's, it works as a rheostat, so it allows us to sort of change the, the amount of softening we want on the image. So we can take it all the way back to zero and have the harsher effect, or we can actually just dial that up a little bit to where we just soften the skin tones. And what's nice is it's not softening the eyes at all. It's just softening the areas that we want it soft. So right now we have the skin tones that are going to be softened and uh, the eyes will remain sharp. So we're going to go ahead and just dial that up just so you can see the, the effect. We can take it as far as you want. Um, the eyes still remain sharp or we can dial it back. And typically I will dial it back. Uh, I like having the option to do this just so I can sort of go back and forth till I get the, the spot where I feel it works for me. And right now that's looking pretty good. So if I click on or click off the layer that has a softening, you can see the difference. It just kind of gives it a little bit of a glow. And at this point we can close this down as a PSD file, open it back up, and still do any softening as long as we paint on the mask. And this is one of those effects that you can go back in and edit later. So if you decide at some point you don't want to have the softening, you can remove it. And this is one of the typical things we'll do in our studio that works really great for skin softening. Uh, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to shoot me a comment on, uh, on uh, YouTube, and I'd be happy to answer anything I can for you. Thank you so much for your time.